Hey partners, I'm Nikki from DJ Academy. Did you use Mavic 3 Multi Dispatcher and DJ Smart Farm Wipe before? I guess some of you use it already. We have more and more new learners, so I would like to make a series of videos about the principle and how to use them. Let's firstly introduce the principle of variable rate application. Here we set NDVI as an example because NDVI is mostly common used vegetation in this. Here is a formula for NDVI. This formula is based on the reflection rate of near infrared light and red light. On the above is the reflection rate of near infrared light minus that of red light. And below is the reflection rate of near infrared light plus that of right light. So some people may ask a question, why do we use near infrared light and right light in this formula? So now you could see the picture on the top right corner, which shows the reflection rate for different lights. As you could see in this picture, the reflection rate of near infrared is high but that of the right light is low. So we use this formula to calculate and get NDVI to reflect the health status of the vegetation. For the healthy vegetation and unhealthy vegetation, the NDVI could be totally different. The healthy vegetation is more willing to absorb right light and less willing to absorb near infrared light. As you could see the picture on the right, the healthy crop absorb more right light, so less right light is reflected. And for the unhealthy, less right light is absorbed, and more is reflected. And the reflected lights, like right light and near infrared light, will be captured by the camera. So healthy vegetation will get a high NDVI because less right light is reflected and captured by the camera. But for unhealthy vegetation, the result is different. So based on NDVI, it can indirectly prove the relative chlorophyll content in crop tissue cells. Of course, besides NDVI, we actually have other vegetation indices to reflect the healthy status of the crops. Here we list RGB, GNDVI, LCI, NDRE, NDVI, or SAVI, etc. And in this table, NDVI, NDRE, or SAVI are three of the different vegetation indices we could use. NDVI is the most commonly used vegetation index, as I mentioned just now. And research has shown that NDRE gives a better insight into chlorophyll content of crops in the later growing season. And SOAVI takes soil condition into consideration. So it's a good indicator in the early growth stages of the crops. On the right, you could see the formulas for NDVI, NDRE, and OSAVI. Anyway, all of these vegetation indices could be used based on your actual situation. So this is just for your reference. So firstly, we use MAP3 multispecture to do the crop scouting. You can get the pictures and the high definition map after the reconstruction in DJ Smart Farm Web. Then we could get the NDVI vegetation index or other indices and also the prescription map. Here we could also set different spraying or spreading parameters for the task. Finally, in DJ Smart Farm Web, we could share the field and the prescription map to DJ Agris and realize the precise application.